Same here with a homestead box for part two of choosing the right axe for you. Now the first part was a little bit nerdy, some science involved. If you want to review that part, you can go back to our YouTube channel uh, page and select that video. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the parts of an axe and the advantages and disadvantages of different style axe heads that are available to us. Now let's just start with the parts of an axe. What we have here uh, is a standard felling axe. You can see it's longer uh, than a hatchet. It's made to take big uh, strokes with. So uh, just the parts of this axe, obviously the handle, you have the head. The parts of the head are the bit, which is the part you're going to actually put the cutting edge on. The cheeks, which are this part here. The eye of the axe is where the handle passes through and the pole of the axe which can either be flat or rounded. So um, we need to talk about each one of these parts and how uh, you need to evaluate them when you're going to pick your axe out for your homestead. So we're going to start with just this axe here. This is a Danish pattern axe, uh, very similar if not the same as a Greenland pattern axe. Um, so what we notice first is the bit shape here. We've got a rounded bit. The radius starts more flat up towards the toe and rounds off more towards the heel. So the radius steepens here. And so when you swing this axe, you're going to get your first chop and all the pressure coming here and then most of those skew cuts in the back. Now as far as cheeks go, this particular uh, brand <clears throat> has a, a medium tapered cheek so this is a good all-around axe if if you're felling a lot of big trees this can get the felling done this can get the splitting done uh, what we want to take note of this particular brand has a rounded pole so if you're going to be driving a lot of wedges if you use your chain or you use your axe in conjunction with the chainsaw you're going to want some with a flat pole because you're going to be driving wedges. Uh, if you do a lot of camping and you're going to be driving stakes, uh, a flat pole is just going to make that job easier. So that's your, uh, your Danish pattern axe. Moving on, we've got a close cousin still in the European axes. This is your uh, Swedish axe. Now notice it's very similar to our Danish axe, but it flares at the toe as well as the heel and has a consistent radius uh, all around. It's a bit of a tighter radius, so uh, from our first video we can tell that this is going to be a bit of a good chopper. Uh, and very thin cheeks uh, in here, so we've got a very uh, conservative taper in the cheeks. The eye, or uh, uh, just a normal eye. Uh, the pole is again rounded so if you're doing a lot of felling this would be a good style to look into. Felling of, of pretty significantly sized trees. Moving right along to our American style felling axe. This is a Michigan pattern axe. Uh, you'll notice the bit is a little flatter than some of the European axes as far as the radius isn't as tight. Uh, still plenty of radius on it though. And we have, uh, there's just, uh, the bit is shorter and the pole is flattened. So this is a bit of a workhorse, just a utility uh, axe. If we look at the cheeks, we notice a, again a medium taper. So this will handle some... Uh, some splitting duties uh, around the homestead as well as, as felling. Uh, just as a bonus, this is my favorite axe. This is the Council Tool Velvet Cut 
bad boy axe. It's what they call a date and pattern. But what I want you to see about this date and pattern, <coughs> excuse me, is it has a very similar uh, bit shape to the Greenland pattern axes. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, South Georgia weather kind of causing some of that. So, if you see the radius is a little flatter here and it gets a little tighter. The uh, flat pole, uh, a medium cheek taper. But what I really like about this axe, it's got a thinner handle, it's shaped a little better, and just the size is more utility for me. Matter of fact, uh, everyone in the homestead uh, box office really likes this axe. But I want to give you a word of warning about that. Uh, we live in the south and we don't heat our homes with wood and we're typically not outside just splitting cords and cords and cords and cords of firewood. So when we want to ax, we want something that's more utility that we can have in our truck, that we can hammer stakes, wedges, uh, we can chop limbs out of a trail, we can clear a trail, we can do just a, a lot of utility tasks. And my warning comes because just because we say this is a cool, awesome ax and we all like it, you need to find the ax that's going to fit your lifestyle and your homestead. If you are outside splitting and you heat with uh, wood and you're just splitting tons of wood, you need a splitting ax. You are going to wear yourself out with this tiny little ax. You're going to need something like this guy back here. This is a German pattern splitting ax. And you can see that the cheeks are super wide like a splitting ax. Super huge pole for uh, driving big wedges. It's a heavy head. This is not good for felling. It's not good for limbing. It's good for splitting. And if splitting is 90% of your work, this is exactly what you need. So when you're out there evaluating which ax you're going to use for your homestead, use some common sense. Uh, really decide what am I going to be using this ax for and, and choose based on that. So you've seen a couple of different ax uh, styles. Now you know some of the different parts when you see other YouTube channels talking about, well, oh, these cheeks are a little wide or this bit is more rounded or I like the pole on this ax or whatever they're talking about. Now you'll know what they're talking about so you can make good decisions for you and your homestead. Thanks, I'm Sam with the Homestead Box. Please uh, make sure you click the little bell uh, next to our subscribe button so that you can get notifications when we release new videos. And don't forget to subscribe and like our video. That helps us out a lot. All right, thanks.